we're gonna put in these waves, throw in some rocks, all sorts of stuff. This is a big step for this one. Um, won't finish, won't finish by this one though. This was a, a pretty long painting. So all I'm doing right now is I'm just kind of mixing the colors a little bit. On my brush, I have a, uh, a, a lighter hue of, of what was already the shadow in the clouds. So just throw a little white in there. And uh, I'm also going to put some of that back down into the ocean as, as these little reflections that we get. Use the same light color, just kind of tie things together. And I want to pick out a, a channel here where the water is going to flow down over this rock between these rocks. So uh, I'll keep going with that the brush that I'm using. The brush is a, uh, a filbert brush and uh, nothing special about it. Or excuse me. Well, th actually, I think this this one's a flat brush. Yeah, this one's a flat brush. Uh, this this right here is gonna be kind of the eye of the wave. So let me put some lighter color right up there. All right, there we go. You can see in that last step where it skipped a little bit, there was some light color we put in. So this rock mixture, it's a little bit greener than I want, but what I'm using is uh, green, the Viridian. You can use whatever green you want. Actually, th this is probably sap green. Um, and uh, also whatever red you want. I I like the um, uh, Alizarin Crimson. If anyone else has watched my stuff, you know that I like Alizarin Crimson a lot. Okay, uh, so if it's too green, add more red. And if it's not dark enough, maybe throw in some blue. Right here, this is a little more green than I want, but I'll, I'll try and put some, some red over it in a second. I'm going to try and just kind of blend it out a little bit, though, first. Kind of block in the shapes here. So everything, everything that I paint, whenever I paint, I always, uh, always put in the sh the shapes first, and then I'll kind of go and mess around with them and throw in highlights and change them here and there, how I can. Maybe it works for you. Maybe it doesn't. It's the way most people do it. So makes sense. Let's see. Some, I think someone wanted to know about painting water over rocks. Maybe this will help. You can see there how that water in the center is going to go over this uh, this this little bit of rock that's lower in between these two. So you just got to plan things out ahead of time. Usually, that works the best is just to plan out you know where where things are going to be ahead of time and then put them there now not everything has to be perfectly planned out but you should have a an idea of what you want before you get going otherwise you get kind of lost and uh things change over time as you go and it's hard harder to adapt to it Everyone can see I look like Elfelf on the back now. But, but don't look at my head, just just look at the painting. Okay. So let's uh, go over these colors one more time. The rocks, you can either use blue and some kind of brown or orange. Uh, or you can use some kind of green and red. Now then, this is a filbert brush. The reason I want to use a filbert brush is because it holds enough paint, but it's got the benefits of being flat, of being round. You can you can get a lot of stuff done. All that I'm doing is just taking white and blending it down down the face of the wave. 
It's going to be light us up at the top where some of the light actually shines through the water. Um, and it's a bit exaggerated in the painting, but that's what makes it look great. That's why I do it. Uh, if you're using acrylic, this isn't too hard to do, but you would have had to paint this when you when you painted the sea because you know the acrylics dry really fast so you can't blend them so if you're gonna do any any blending like I just did where I blended the white down the wave you really have to do it all all at once with acrylic so that's why I like the oils for this um, well what else can I say okay so this shadow color uh, you can you can see it's it's pretty much the same shadow color as my clouds so everything we want to mm, we want to line up everything you're you're painting needs to kind of go together so colors should go together and and uh shapes and lines and all this stuff but especially colors cuz i mean a lot of people can look at something and say that the colors don't quite match up between things so the shadow colors a bit purple and what that means is that to get the best effect of light and anything, we're going to later use a, uh, a, a white with yellow in it because they're complementary to each other, so they stick out just a bit more. And uh, blues are all cool tones. They call them cool tones because they represent cooler uh, you know cooler temperatures um, and reds you know you've got things like fire and stuff that have red in them so that's why they call those warm colors reds and oranges and and yellows all I'm doing now is just adding in uh, some more details just to kind of give a little movement to these waves that are going to be forming up in the front here it doesn't take much, just a little bit of thought as to how maybe the light would reflect or or go or whatever. Because that's all water is, it's just, you know, uh, different, different heights of the water making different reflections. You need to cover up some of this white area here next to the rock. So we already got a little bit with that, with that shadow color because there's going to be mist or foam if you want uh, splashing up against it so we gotta get in the dark colors for the shadow that's always important and do the same thing all up along here this is actually gonna keep that wave from from breaking too much there so so I'm gonna do this and you know what I'm gonna keep going up here there we go you can paint however many ways you want in your painting. You can, you know, do whatever. This is just the way that I do things, and may maybe that people would like to see it. Plus, it's it's good for me because I can always go back and and uh, see how exactly I did one particular thing if I like that. So that's part of my motivation.